hello guys welcome back to another python tutorial in this video we will create a keylogger using python which will capture the keys from your keyboard and then send them into your email address so for this we will require an email address which two-step verification option is off and the list secure app access is on so before we start if you're new to the channel don't forget to subscribe now so you won't miss such amazing videos in the future now let's get started by going to the command prompt and install the keyboard module after installing that we will require to import the keyboard so we have imported the required libraries for sending email and the blocking some traits and timer uh, for this keylogger, I will create a class which inside that we will have different methods for different tasks. Let's do it. Our first method will be initialization method where we have our variables initialized. So this is our initialization method where we pass the interval from where we will pass the interval when creating the object of this keylogger class. And we have our like, log variable and semaphore variable. Uh, next method will be callback method, which will be called every time we press any key from the keyboard. So in this callback method, first we will pass the event from the keyboard and then we will take the name of the event. If it is a special character in the keyboard, then the length will be greater than 1. If this condition met, we will go inside and check if the name of the event is space. If it is a space, we will replace it with, with a blank space. If it is enter, we will replace it with this enter in capital. If it is decimal, then we will replace it with dot. Otherwise, we will replace all the blank spaces with underscore and uh, all the characters to uppercase. And after this condition has finished, we will uh, append the name variable inside our uh, log variable that we have created here. Next function we require it will be uh, sending email. Let me define it. So in the send mail uh, method, we will get the email, the password, and the message. We will log into our email and password. Then we will send the email and password. Next method will be a reporting method, which will be used to call the send email function. And also we will define the timer for that, which will be recalled each and every interval of time. So in this method of report, we will check if the log is having something inside, then we will call the send mail function from here and pass our email and password. And after sending, calling this function, we will assign the log to empty. And again, we will call this self.report itself after some interval of time that we will pass this interval time as well so our next method will be the start method which will be called at the starting of uh, our program let me define that very quick so this method will be called whenever we create our object then it will listen to the keyboard uh, press when the when the key is released on the from the keyboard uh, the callback method which we have defined here will be called and then the report method will be called which report the logs which is stored from the callback it will report them, report them into our email now we are ready to call our function by creating an object of our class and calling the start method
So now if we run our program, a keylogger object from the keylogger class will be created and the interval, which is a global variable here, will be passed and the start method will be called. After that, the start method will check for the release button of the keyboard and then call the callback. Like anytime we press any key, the keyboard, it will call the callback and callback will store the character inside the uh, log variable. And then uh, after that, we will report that into the email. But the report function will just send the email after this interval of time. So for our, our email and password, I will create a global variable and give my actual email and password. So I have created this email and password for this video uh, to show you the proof and the result of this work. Uh, we are taking that email and password from the global variable and send the email and password to that email. Now if we run our program, we will uh, see the that every 60 seconds the keylogger will report the logs from our keyboard and cap and send them into our email address. So this is my email address. Let me just type something from the keyboard Windows R notepad. And inside the notepad I will write this message is from keylogger. Enter space. Let's see how the message will appear in email. So after a minute, it should uh, send us an email here. We will uh, check it live here without without any anything. Where is the log email? we have to wait for one minute oh you'll see that we have received an, a new email which is myself actually as you can see here i have pressed left windows plus r then i have written notepad then enter then i have written this is then there was a mistake backspace message from key logger then enter enter you can see everything is recorded from your keyboard and you have received the email. So a good practice for using this keylogger will be uh, like uh, to assign a longer time for this. It is only 60 seconds because we don't want to receive uh, the log each and every 60 seconds. If we assign it uh, for at least like an hour, like every hour we, receive, we get the logs and our email will be good. So that's it, the tutorial for uh, this video. Uh, this was the uh, keylogger using Python. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like and subscribe and also comment down your problems. If any, I'm sure there won't be any problem. And I will also leave the source code for this uh, keylogger into my GitHub account. If you go to the Python folder in my GitHub account and inside that you will find another Python Inside the subfolder will be a keylogger. There will be more codes from Python. So you'll have to come inside the keylogger and you will find this file which we have created here. But you have to write your own email here. Your email and your password. So thank you for watching, don't forget to subscribe and like and I will see you in the next video.